back to bring you how to build today. I'm showing you how to build Sub Zero. So this is Sub Zero. Now this robot was request. Now this how to build was requested by Aaron and Andre. Sorry if I can't pronounce that right. But yeah, so this is the robot. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to build this robot. So this is Sub Zero, as you can see. It has it has a pretty powerful flipper, as you saw in the intro. And this is basically the robot. It's not the most accurate, as there was like a plow on the back of it, but I did, couldn't be bothered making that. But it is fairly accurate, so I'm really happy with this model. So let's get into what you're going to need to actually build the robot. To build Sub-Zero, you're going to need the following. So first off, you're going to need the instructions, which are linked in the description below. You're also going to need a pencil, a ruler, a pair of scissors, some tape, a compass or one of these things works just fine. A blue marker, a gray marker, a pen, a black marker, and a very worn out marker, like so that I can get this color. Now this, I just use a worn out gray sharpie that doesn't produce the correct color. As you can see, this is what it kind of looks like. Um, basically, any worn out color marker should work for it. But yeah, so hopefully I'm making sense. So let's get on, oh, and a bit of a red marker pen just for the little logo on the back area, I guess here. Not the logo, the sponsor on the back, if you want to draw it. So yeah, let's get into the next step, which is drawing all your panels and coloring them and cutting them out. Okay, so as always, you're just going to copy your instructions onto whatever material you're using, and then you're just going to color it in, of course. And then some cello tape over the top always makes it look a bit better, in my opinion. Don't, though, don't overdo it like I usually do. Um, if you're using card, definitely duct tape the back. If you're just using corrugated cardboard, you don't really need to do that. Though it looks a lot, it looks better in my opinion. So yeah, after you've done all of that, then you're gonna cut it out, and I'm just gonna let the music play right now as this goes on. So yeah, let's get into this. Well, since Redutsky March is kind of a short um, piece of music, I'm just going to be commentating over this. So, uh, let's talk about the series Epoch. So, Sub-Zero will actually be competing in the series Epoch. I might mention this a bit later on in the video, but they are competing. Now, they originally weren't going to be competing because my original Sub-Zero I built uh, after I originally made the heats for the series Epoch. 
but I realized that my depth roll model was just really destroyed and probably couldn't compete. Probably same with the liftoff model, but I ended up just having that one compete. But yeah, death roll just wasn't in the best shape, so I ended up pulling them out. And I had a spot open, so I decided to put in Sub-Zero in their place. And you'll see how well that goes for Sub-Zero um, later on, once we get to Heat. Um, once we get to Heat D, you'll see them, I believe. I believe they're in Heat D, yeah. Heat D. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, okay, so I'm going to try to have a schedule for how to build. I'm going to try to do every other day. So like today I'm doing sub um today I no yesterday I did sub zero. Well when you're watching this I did sub zero actually two days ago, but I got all the edits and stuff done yesterday. But yeah, so um I'm gonna try to do this every other day and tomorrow I'm gonna be probably be filming the next how to build. I'm not sure which one that will be. Probably the one from I forget the name of it, but it's the one from Extreme what series one. Well yeah, Extreme Series One, so that one will be fun to make. But yeah. Uh what else do I can I talk about? Um hmm trying to think of something to talk about oh oh um i really don't know what to talk about so okay well this part se this segment's almost over anyway so yeah um so yeah well, as you can see i'm just finishing up everything on sub zero and then we're gonna get on to the next part which will obviously be actually putting all the pieces together so let's get to that so now that you've cut out all your panels now you're just going to take uh now we're gonna start building the robots so you're gonna take your base so this is the base of course uh, I'm pretty sure it's obvious what, what the base is. I'm not going to explain that. So now, take uh, these side panels. So these are the side panels. Now they are gray. Um, if you want to make it more realistic, you can have like the cutting like on the actual weapon. But I didn't bother there to do that. So you're going to attach this to the side. Then after you've attached those to the side, take... Um, where's the panel? Then take the back panel, which is 7x2. I actually apparently lost it. I'll find it, or I'll just make a new one. But yeah, just going to attach it to the back. And then you're going to fold these over onto those, creating um, kind of, sort of that sort of shape. And then afterwards, take this front panel and attach it onto the front. Oh, and by the way, attach the top on just right now. And just, like, attach it over the top, like so. Hopefully I'm making sense. Okay, so now take uh, these three panels. So these three panels are uh, these two. So these two are this. Are, I believe it's two one quarter by two centimeters. This ones go here, and then three by two centimeters goes here. So you have two of these, and then just one of these. So I'll grab the other one, and I'll get into that. Not sure if I already said this, but touch these. Uh, oh, I already said that. I'm bad. Okay, so yeah, you have this now. So I've just drawn on the back of here. You don't really need to draw it in here, but yeah. So. Oh, uh, now you have all of that. So, you're going to take, um, let's make the wheels. So, for the wheels, you're going to take, uh, these eight wheels area. So, you're going to take two per wheel, and then take one of these, and then just make it go all the way around the wheel. And you're going to do that four times for four wheels, so do that right now. Okay, so just put your wheels to the side right now. Okay, now take, um... So these four panels, so you have four of these panels, right? So you're going to want to measure them so that they're like in centered. So these should be centered. You just want to measure it so that they're centered and attach them on both the bottom and the top. And then take these two panels. So these two panels should go on the sides and these should attach to the edges of these panels, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. You're going to do that on both sides. Thank you. So next you're going to want to attach on the wheels like I've done, like so. Make sure they're connected over this little curve. Okay, now put it down. Okay, so now you're going to take these two, attach them to the sides and on the front to create your little wedge area so far. So do that for each one. And then take these three panels. So these two little triangles will go on the back and then this will go over the top of them, creating a wedge, which will be here. So do that. Now. Okay, now that you have all of this done, you are now going to take these panels. So these panels are as follows. So these two. So these will bend, will be attached to the top and then bend across this and then just be attached to the bottom. So be like one of the wedgelets. And then this will just go at an angle attached to the side. So you're going to do that on both sides. Hopefully I'm making sense. I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. 
Okay, so there you go. Now you have your wedgelet. So now take these three final panels. So you're going to want to attach this and just bend it around the whole entire flipper, okay? And make sure that doesn't spread apart. Like you can see here, I have it so that the tape just brings it together instead of pulling it apart. And do that. Also make one of these things for the actual flipper. Hopefully I'm making sense. And sorry if this is too far in the, in the camera. camera. But yeah. So there you go. Um, so you're going to just have attached this onto the back wedge. And then just a bit of tape on the bottom here. And then attach this thing over onto here. And then onto the front of the wedge. And then as you can see it should bend like so. You might want to use like a coin to weigh it down. But yeah. So this is Sub-Zero. I'm really happy with this model. Probably one of my favorites. I was really happy with this one. This one's just a lot more messed up, and um, this one's just been destroyed. Um, hopefully this isn't any spoilers for the actual series, because Sub-Zero will be appearing in it. Actually, I'm just gonna say this. Sub-Zero is a fill-in for Death Roll, who had to actually be- who had actually- had, who had to pull out due to being a lot really destroyed and just not in shape for actually competing. So Sub-Zero took their spot, so you will see them later on in the series. But yeah, so this Sub-Zero will probably be retired. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, have a great day, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.